Aloha. Welcome to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul and today is the 30th of May. <clears throat> it is a Tuesday and I'm very uh, honored and grateful for you being with me today. Today we're going to be focusing on a very important subject, one where virtually 97% uh, of humanity has this blockage, has this issue. And it is the subject of low self-esteem. Today we'll be focusing on the root, the root cause, which in most cases is caused by our own self, uh, self-accepted, self-adopted blockages. And so this is uh, part two. For those that just jumped back in, <clears throat> I was knocked off once again by our beloved uh, Facebook live stream. Still haven't figured out why that's occurring, but always an opportunity to to uh, grow and become more patient. So thank you for all those that have returned and found me again. In the meantime, I will continue to um, to share. So <clears throat> my teacher, Dr. Master Shah, uh, is an amazing soul, an amazing being. And um, he grew up in a very blessed household, a household in which he received unconditional love by both his mother and father, uh, a teaching from great um, great masters, if you will, because he started training in Tai Chi and Qigong and Feng Shui and I Ching and all of these at a very young age, grandmastered all of them. And uh, uh, when he was told by one of his top, top uh, students, teachers, that one of the biggest problems in humanity is a lack of self-love, um, he was, uh, he had a very puzzling look on his eyebrow. He simply did not understand what that meant. He was clueless, for lack of a better description. <clears throat> and he had to ask his teacher to explain it to him, his student, excuse me, to explain it to him. What does that mean? Uh, self-love blockages, self-love issues. And once she explained it to him, he understood it, but was confused why 90%, 97% of humanity would have it. Because his, he was blessed to not have that kind of an upbringing. He then checked with Divine to see if this information was correct, and Divine shared with him that yes, about 97% of humanity has significant blockages with self-love. So today, uh, I will be focusing on this subject matter. What is the root cause of this? How through our early childhood and our karma conditions, we brought this condition upon ourselves and what we can do about it. Um, it so happens that once Master Shah discovered it, it is one of the most requested and most taken advantage of uh, blessings when he offers healing blessings to remove the Shen Qi Jing karmic blockages. Um, uh, people stand in line for that one. And so these same kind of blessings will be offered today by anyone of interest. So if you do not have time to watch until the end to understand the value of those blessings and receive them, you can contact me through my website, asoulhealer.com, uh, asoulhealer at yahoo.com as well. And I'm happy to discuss with you more how to receive those individual personal blessings for your own self-worth blockages. But today we're going to discover what are the roots, how we ended up adopting um, various information that came into our world as a young person and and then br carried those forward into our adulthood and they they bring to us um, in many many cases you know very unpleasant experiences so that will be the subject matter today so i think uh, i've acknowledged everyone that has returned um, we've lost a few folks and uh, welcome nnc uh, welcome johnny mambode uh, welcome richard amodio and uh, welcome Janine. I think I've acknowledged everybody else. Welcome CJ. <clears throat> Thank you all for hitting the share button. Welcome Wendy Lynn. Um, we always lose a few folks when, um, when the live stream is dropped. Unfortunately, they don't know how to navigate their way back or something else has taken them away from this. So I apologize to those souls. So let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul. I have invited in the beings of light already. They're the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you and we respect you. We ask you to please turn on and we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us, to serve humanity in this unconditional way. Again, for all those that are new, um, this is a blessing, so please close your eyes and receive. And the rest of us, of course, we close our eyes and of course we receive, but we also know that when we chant this song, we're offering a blessing. 
So let us offer that blessing. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I was in Erling. Oh, I tremble. Wang Ling Rong, her musher song. Song I ping on a sea. Song I ping on a sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more time, lula lula li, lula lula la li, lula lula li lula, lula li lula, lula li lula. Oh, I was in Harling. Oh, I turned manly, wrong, ling, wrong, her musher song. Song I ping on a say, song I ping on her say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Moni. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome everybody. Thank you for finding your way back to round two. Always a challenge when we're dealing with uh, live streams. You never know when you're going to get knocked off. <clears throat> so welcome back, Wendy Lynn. And... Let's see who else has joined us. Hope you guys have a stronger connection now. Some people had some trouble with their live stream connection. <clears throat> and also welcome to, welcome back Robin, welcome Crystal, welcome back Isabel, welcome Sherry Lee Hartree, welcome Marie, and uh, welcome Tammy Dixon. Thank you all for hitting the share button and letting other people know about this. Guarantee with the 97 percentile of America having some uh, self-esteem blockages <laughs> in the sharing you're probably going to run across a few people who will be very grateful for this so as I was saying this is something that tends to run through our our modem operandi in other words low self-esteem is one of those things that's kind of like um, uh, walking pneumonia you don't really know you have it you know you feel a little bit under the weather you know you got you know you're you're not quite healthy but you can't seem to get out of that lull well it's kind of like that low self esteem is a way we bring ourselves to life it is a color of glasses that we wear um that we see life through it's like taking off my low self esteem glasses hey i feel really good putting them back on oh i'm not so sure um it's basically, it impedes the way we bring ourself to life, the way we make our decisions, the way we feel about ourself, the way we feel about others. It impacts 
the way we do our jobs, it impacts the way we handle ourselves in relationships. It impacts our financial wealth and flourishing. It impacts our choices in almost every moment of every day. So needless to say, it is uh, a very, very important subject, one that has very deep roots. What's the difference between a deep root and a shallow root? Well, a shallow root is one where you, um, you get irritated at a new coworker and uh, maybe they're gossiping about you and they don't even know you. Um, so that's a beginning root that might fester into a deeper root. A deep root is one that has had your entire lifetime and more to grow. And deep roots um, can be difficult to identify. They can be difficult to, um, to address. And they're not necessarily overly difficult to uproot once they're identified and addressed. But without being able to identify them and address them, they can definitely be difficult to uproot. Uh, given the nature of all the different areas of our life that a lack of self-esteem can impact, um, we definitely want to take a look at that. So low self-worth, low self-esteem, uh, from my observation, from various teachings that I've learned, and from the karmic uh, roots and understandings that I've learned through Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, always has a beginning. And the beginning is karma. Um, that's not new information, I'm sure, for anybody. But what could be new is how we look at that and how it has shown up in our life. Uh, and so let's see, we've had a few more people join us. Welcome Jota, welcome Ezekiel. And welcome also to Candy. Thank you again for sharing, letting other people know. So when these, um, mm, when we are born, come into the womb, we uh, are a soul entering a physical experience, but nevertheless, we are still a soul. And as you've come to understand through all of these uh, consistent teachings, the soul carries forth with it all of its lifetimes of experiences, the good, the bad, the ugly, the very good as well. And karma is an understanding that what has been done onto others uh, will at some point in time come upon you. Um, Jesus brings us with teachings, what you do unto others returns unto you. So it doesn't matter the source of the teachings. What does matter is the, the um, quality of it. And in all of the great teachers and the great teachings, they offer this same wisdom. What you have done to others somehow returns to you. So a lack of self-esteem, a lack of um, love for self, absolutely will impact your finances. It will absolutely impact the way you communicate with all the people in your relationships. It will absolutely impact the way you bring yourself to your job. But most importantly, it will impact your personal wellness because your personal wellness is your emotional body your um your mental body your spiritual approach to life your and when those are out of balance they impact your physical body so in addressing this very deep root of a lack of self-worth it begins with the recognition of the karma associated with it because the soul uh is eternal and this life is temporary we must look at what at, at the soul level we have brought into this life experience because prior to entering in the plan was laid out uh, loosely speaking that we're going to have a, a series of experiences that are designed to cause us to awaken that cause us to develop and create good uh, positive energies and karmic conditions so that we have better experiences moving forward so that we can return home to our heart of our creator. But at the same time, other experiences will come into our life, including the parents, the peers, the brothers, the sisters, the, the religious belief systems. All of these are scheduled to enter our life collectively to bring about a series of experiences that are designed to assist us with clearing blockages. Now, as you know, most of us don't see it like that. We see it through the clouded eyes 
uh, of suffering and we like to blame others for all of our problems and we like to point fingers outside of us for everything that happens to us um, we like to not necessarily step into that that stepping stone of responsibility we could have quote low self-esteem low self-value because our parents were jerks because our brother beat us up the entire life because we were molested we could have low self-esteem because uh our we went to a catholic school and the teachers and the nuns were very mean to us we could have any number of stories that we could pull out of our pockets about why we have this thing called low self-esteem but none of it has any relevance to the root cause which is the karma the karma was from our thoughts words and actions in previous times if you're working with low self-esteem issues guess what folks at some point in time you were possibly the victimizer the one causing others to have low self-esteem ta-da welcome to reality and so when you awaken to that you have been able to identify the initial original root that original root brings forth and come uh, uh, the a series of conditions where you your heavens team and heaven everybody get together and they make this life for you so that these things can be identified hopefully sooner than later that you can see them as an opportunity instead of a suffering instead of a woe is me i am the victim and accordingly you can uproot them through the power of forgiveness and the power of awareness through the special services that the master teachers master shah those that have the, the special um, service abilities we can help you uproot those thousands of times faster but always what is available to you is the power of forgiveness and so it, it initiates with the comprehension of the karmic root then we can start looking at all of those things that have happened in our life that have brought these conditions to us and we can start addressing them from this higher perspective uprooting them is the same as saying i am choosing to no longer beat myself up put myself down blame others i am choosing to no longer be, do any negative self-talk to myself uh, I am choosing to no longer um, uh, drill down on my own mindsets attitudes and beliefs uh, I am choosing instead to look at things from a bit of a higher perspective I am choosing to let go of blaming others how many of you showing of hands um, you can use an unhappy face on this one how many of you from your childhood have felt others had been very unpleasant towards you and caused you to maybe close your heart or maybe you had a, a unpleasant uh, one or the other of a parent an abusive conditions where you basically were um, withdrawn and uh, uh, created conditions of low lack value it could have been from childhood upbringing it could have been from um, maybe you were uh, weighed more than others you you had a uh, beautiful chubbiness and others were critical of that there could have been conditions where that occurred where you had all these self-esteem issues around your looks etc etc um, all of these are roots that at an early age tremendously 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 impact us in order to uproot anything we have to identify its source now all of you watching today are at least 20 years old uh, that's my pretty good guess anyway and so and a good chunk of you are are 35 plus that means that we've gotten beaten over the head a lot that means we've had great opportunity to grow uh, opportunity to understand various spiritual wisdoms and teachings opportunity to go through various psychological teachers opportunities to um, to um, figure things out and make changes and do better we've 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 been around the mill a few times anyway and so we bring to this table today that pair of glasses right that you're looking through right now as you listen to this and comparing it with what you know 
And in that comparison process, you might be saying, yeah, that's good. I'm not so sure about that. But do understand this. The glasses that you're looking through are unique to you and they have a tint, T-I-N-T, a tint. And that tint could be skewed by the way our child, our young person in us, viewed things. So let's look at a few examples because these are the roots. And in order to see the roots, I'm going to give you a few examples. You are going to be responsible for finding your own because then it's not so difficult to uproot them. But finding them could be a little tricky. So here's a few examples. Those who uh, had a mother or a father that were um, very, very um, strict, right? They had a very strict set of rules and you were always trying to do whatever you could to please them, to make them happy, okay? That kind of an upbringing definitely creates low self-esteem. Why? Because it's almost impossible to please them. Therefore, it's almost impossible to please yourself. That's one example, okay? And so if it's almost impossible to please them and it's almost impossible to please yourself, then the glasses you look through are it's never enough. I can never do enough to make someone happy. That's one example. Okay. What's another example? Um, you are not the pretty person in class. So somebody says unpleasant things to you. Okay. Or maybe you are the pretty person, but um, you're, you have uh, small breasts if you're a woman. Uh, and so they, 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 they tease you. And so you have this uh, uh, complex about your looks. Right, and you think you got to go out and get new ones, or what's another example? Another example is you have a, a relative, an uncle, or a brother and sister, and maybe there is some abuse from one of them that you are holding, and nobody really knows about, maybe until later on in life, and so you went to the psychologist and all that, and um, but uh, it's still there because from the child level, this is the key, guys. From the three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old, seven, eight, nine-year-old level, the thinking is not where you're at today. The intelligence is dramatically different than where you're at today. The person then, that three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine-year-old, sees things from the original root. The original root of, I just want love. I just uh, I came from love, I came from heaven, I came from love, and I'm coming into this world, and this parent is saying, I must do A, B, and C to be loved. Eat your food, eat this, and I'll give you that. Everything is conditional. So we're taught conditional, conditional, conditional. In order to do this, you get that. And so we develop this conditional sense about us as a child. So when a parent is divorced and a parent leaves when we are abused by someone when we go to a Catholic school and we have mean nuns when these conditional circumstances happen around us or we are hurt and we have these little cute little open hearts as a child we don't understand them we don't have the intelligence we have today today to make any form of a comprehension or understanding of it we, we just don't so as a child, what do we default to? Well, it must be me. I must have done something wrong. I must not be enough of this or this or that. I must not be loving enough. I must not be pretty enough, skinny enough, fat enough, ugly enough, pretty enough. Uh, it must be me is what the child defaults to because of the conditional teachings we learn from the moment of birth. When we're in the other part of the of experience in heaven, there is no conditions. There is only unconditional love. But when we enter, our karma brings these scenarios to us. And unfortunately, unless we've done a lot of enlightening work, we don't see them as that two, three, four, five, six year old. We, we just don't get it. We don't go, oh, I see this one coming. Can you mind a four year old going, oh, mom and dad are offering me conditional love. Aha. This is where I have offered them conditional love in a previous lifetime. So I'm going to not take it personally and I'm going to offer them my love back and not take it personally. A four-year-old doesn't do that. We don't have the consciousness we have now, right? So in order to uproot the root, you have to see how it shows its face in our daily life. 
you have to catch yourself in the self-talk and literally walk it backwards you have to catch yourself going ah oh, I can't believe you did that you stupid 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 blah 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 blah, blah right that's an example of self-talk you know we all have our versions of that that lack of love towards self we must 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 recognize that it in no way shape or form is assisting our return to God it's just not it's certainly not assisting your financial flourishing it's not assisting your mental wellness it's not assisting your emotional wellness it's not assisting your relationship with others because you're not assisting your own self uh, there is no place in your life where it is benefiting so why would you want to do it because that's what you have learned how do you unlearn it it starts with seeing it it starts with going aha I see you you have to be willing to stop first go aha I see you once you see it you can apply the uprooting process now the uprooting process is not there at that age of 37 or 27 wherever you're at now and seeing it that's that's identifying the top of the weed the the, the root of the weed goes down there you can can see the top of the weed and you can say I am just going to ignore you I am just going to say aha I you know uh, please forgive me and cut it off but have you ever cut off a weed at the at the ground level does it grow back shake your head yes why because the roots still there guys the root is karma how do you uproot the karma you have to grab the weed at the top and you have to bring your hand all the way to the bottom you have to moisten the ground so that the roots loosen up and then you have to physically pull it out gently with love with intention so that the root fully releases and it's never there again so how do you get from the top of the weed which is easy to see down to the root of the weed you do it by conscious awareness ah I see that I am putting myself down I see that I am acting out in a way that is not loving of self self-worth values right I see that I am doubting I can do this I see that um, when X A B C D person uh, is saying something to me in a way that I see as belittling that I am accepting it as truth whatever it is that's pushing you down whether it's coming from outside of you or from inside of you it's not supporting you and if you're allowing it and agreeing with it that's the same thing as agreeing to low self-esteem if you allow it to come from the outside and you agree with it you're just saying yeah I agree I'm not worthy and that's a bunch of you know BS of course but that's what we've accepted your adult self would absolutely in no way shape or form stand up for that no way would your adult self agree with that you have far too much intelligence to agree with that and yet it happens to us on a moment-to-moment -moment basis why because your adult self didn't make those agreements your child self did based on a protective mechanism your child self wanted to be loved wanted to be accepted wanted to be approved will do anything to not rock the boat basically to be loved and approved and in that agreement at that little child mind to do whatever it took to be loved and accepted and approved they agreed oh well uh, my, my mom or my dad or the church or whoever it was said um, I was wrong that it was not good enough that he need to do this and this and that to be loved approved and accepted to be enough my uh, the friends at school that I put on a pedestal uh, say that I'm not pretty enough or that I'm to this or I'm to that they must be right so all of this little kid stuff says well I guess they're right since they're older than me they're prettier than me they're uh, stronger than me they're wiser than me whether the church they know better whether mommy and daddy they know better so I guess I am not enough this child 
made these agreements for you. Your adult consciousness would never make that agreement. So where's the root? Right there. Right there where that child made those agreements. In order to find your way back to that root, you have to grab the top of the weed and consciously walk back to where you made that agreement. Now, no one said it was easy, but I can tell you, it's a bucket load better than years and years and years with a psychologist. It's a bucket load better than blaming yourself. And if you're not enjoying the, um, the lack and the trouble that shows up throughout your life, then this is an absolute way to reduce it. Because from, from the 360 degree perspective, guys and gals, you are a 100% beautiful soul. You have always and have never not been a 100% beautiful soul. That is just the 100% truth. What happens, however, is because we have accepted these various things from our karmic conditions, blah, 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 we continue to manifest through karmic conditions and through our, our literally our mind processes more of the things we're not enjoying in life. So this awareness of these root causes just requires you to stop and look at it and go, wow. You know, how long have I been saying to myself, I'm not beautiful because I'm fat, because I have this scar on my belly, because God knows what you say to yourself, right? Whatever it is, go, oh, well, there's a couple of things. I, I, I know that I'm a good person. I know I've done a pretty good job. I know that uh, I've always wanted the best for myself, my family, my kids. And I know that uh, um, I am worthy that as the person I am now, I wouldn't say these unpleasant things to myself. So I'm going to look back. Oh, you know what? I remember when Becky from school told me that she was my best friend. She was the one I trusted and she broke my heart when she said that. And I remember I was, I, I started covering myself up and I started, you know, wearing bigger clothes. So people, I wore black and you know, whatever it was, as an example, right? You track it back. Maybe it was, as an example, one of the uh, belief systems that you were in and you heard a set of teachings that were conditional, that, you, that love was conditional. And as a child, you adopted that. You have to walk it back to that moment in time. Whatever it is, you got to do the work. Okay? Now, once you find that root it's very much like taking one of your other hands and going to the because you know, the weeds this high right the weeds you know several feet you got one hand on the top you got one hand at the bottom well that hand that just went to the bottom now it found the root that's still not uprooting it you try to pull it up now there will still be roots down there guys because you didn't soften the sand you didn't soften the foundation Okay, you have to make things soft before you can pull that weed out permanently. How do you do that? You do it with what Master Shah has brought to us, what the great beings of light from all time have brought to us. Buddha has taught forgiveness. Jesus has taught forgiveness. It's what Master Shah teaches. <clears throat> we, these wisdoms always work. They never not work. It really boils down to us being willing to wake up enough and be consciously awoken enough to weed up these roots. Because when you weed up these roots, which we're going to come back to this in just a second, but I want you to comprehend the much deeper value than the obvious surface. The much deeper value is when you pick up these roots, you start uh, removing that fog on your glasses of life. You start 
responding to people differently because you're responding to yourself differently you start offering love differently to all those around you because you're offering love to yourself differently you start trusting that what you need to do can actually be done because you trust yourself more you start in essence clearing the spiritual stuff the debt the karmas at the root level and therefore you bring more uh, alignment to God because God loves you unconditionally and now you're starting to love yourself unconditionally and with that alignment you as a being of the Creator start manifesting better and better life moving forward not just in that moment but because in that moment you are, are creating a better condition your mindset shift your emotions shift your spiritual perception shifts your karma starts diminishing and therefore next month gets a lot better and the month after that gets a lot better your entire manifested future starts improving because you uprooted the roots it has been said by the great teachers that the root cause of all suffering is a lack of love for self do you see the workings of it now do you see how a leads to b and b leads to c and C leads to the letdown called life when it could be the great greatest opportunities by taking the time to deroot them. Now the derooting process, the watering down the soils, how do we do that? We do that with love and forgiveness. Okay, basic teachings Master Shah has brought to us. Your love, your forgiveness is at your level. God's love, God's forgiveness, Buddha's love, Buddha's forgiveness, Jesus' love, Jesus' forgiveness, all the other beings of light, their love, their forgiveness, lot, lot, lot higher, guys. So always apply the higher wisdoms and powers to accomplish this uprooting. When you identify that root, invite in all the beings of light. Pull out a book with the calligraphy in it. Um, if you have any transmissions, downloads, and treasures you've received from either reading one of the books or from um, attending any of the events and retreats of Master Shah. Turn them on. These are watering the soils before you uproot the roots. Um, love. Love the mother or the father or the individual that brought you that karmic condition that brought you the way you've been looking at life and beating yourself up love that best friend that dumped on you in grade three you have to love them through the power of forgiveness because now that you have this adult intelligence how can you hold uh, literally how can you intelligently hold a grudge when you have this intelligence how can you intelligently hold a grudge against anyone for any reason you've heard this before I'll repeat it again forgiveness is the intelligent recognition that what has happened to you you have done upon another the childhood best friend that dumped on you the 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 the, the relative or, or family member that 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 took advantage of you uh, potentially harmed you um, if it it's not accidental guys it's all based in a root of karma it will not disappear until you uproot it love and forgiveness are necessary you start by offering them forgiveness and if you can't offer them forgiveness you start by asking for forgiveness you start by recognizing that these series of conditions occurred that you thought as a child that you were insufficient that you trusted mom and you trusted dad with their conditional love and you trusted this person that took advantage of you and you trusted this person that said negative things to you and you now recognize that others trusted you others trusted you and you taught them conditional love therefore you were given that same opportunity others um, that you were mean to others and talked down to others therefore they brought you the same thing giving you an opportunity to ask for forgiveness whatever happened to you that caused that child person in you to adopt a I'm not worthy enough look at it and go I have brought this same emotion to others I don't remember it the adult that I am now would never want to accomplish that to others you might have actually brought that to your own children 
room for more forgiveness. But um, regardless, you can ask for forgiveness there. Forever bringing those kinds of talking down to experiences, uh, uh, abandonment, right? If you were abandoned, guess what? You abandon others. You just drill down to whatever brought on those I'm not worthiness experiences and then do forgiveness around those. Those souls came into your life as a blessed reminder, as a blessed opportunity to permanently release this stuff so that any future incarnations you do have unconditional parents like the example of my teacher he was so blessed he did not comprehend just like what is self-love issues i honestly don't understand he was blessed to have unconditional love from every angle because that's what he had offered all of his lifetimes he wasn't always that way he went through the process but because he ended up offering unconditional love he received unconditional love parents didn't even comprehend what conditional love was we have not had enough unconditional love lives but in doing this for ourselves we then position ourselves to be the deliverer of unconditional love we position ourselves to not take things personally for ourselves or when others beat down on us when others come to us and they start pushing us down because of their blockages we stay in a strength place we offer compassion because we understand their blockages and we don't take it so personally we can offer unconditional love like any being that grows through this process so in a nutshell and then we're going to do a practice the person you are today is a well-educated adult that is acting out from adopted accepted um, truths that were set as a child your karma brought you uh, conditionalness which caused you as a child to have experiences which caused you as a child to believe that you were not worthy uh, of whatever it was worthy of being pretty enough good enough happy enough smart enough you name it whatever the whatever shows up in your modern day um, and your child locked that in with that belief that has carried forth today as one of the ways you bring yourself to humanity it brings yourself to your job your relationships your money everything uh, and it causes you to bring yourself uh, to these various areas of life with a lack of perspective however it shows up for you that lack of perspective is reversible you start by seeing where uh, uh, it's showing up catch yourself uh, if somebody else says something unpleasant to you and you're in agreement or if it's self-made either way that's the top of the weed then you drill down to find the root <clears throat> by just asking better questions where did I start originating this thinking where did I uh, make up this belief as a child you may have to meditate with it your soul will tell you instantly you you trust me if you sit down and meditate with it you will find out no problem you will be flashed a memory of when that came to you and that's the root then you water the root to soften it up you soften it with love and forgiveness it's much easier to soften it with when you add heaven's love and forgiveness and you add and you bring in all the beings of light you add the calligraphies you turn on your treasures soften the roots okay the pulling up of that weed is an agreement <clears throat> that i will not beat myself up again on this subject matter it's when you say enough it's when you say i am done with accepting what others tell me from the outside about this subject i am good i am worthy i love myself enough to no longer accept that that's when the root is pulled up same kind of a strength same kind of a posture mentally you say about yourself enough I am tired of this crap I've been saying about myself about weight or whatever it is enough I'm done with that if, if if somebody doesn't want me the way I am that's no longer my problem I am absolutely worthy the way I am now I forgive myself as a child for accepting this I ask for and offer forgiveness to those that have said that to me because I know I have harmed them and uh, 
and uh, I ask most sincerely for forgiveness and I forgive myself for accepting that this is how we uproot it safely you are not fully uprooted until you're just like you just slam that pole down and you say done forevermore moving forward you will see yourself refusing to be dumped on you will see yourself refusing to accept other things as as, as truth that are truly false and and you will manifest a different circumstance moving forward no question about it so <clears throat> this is how you accomplish it it is not a, uh, a race it is not a marathon because marathon means forever it is a joyful loving choice that can be implemented in every moment it does not have to be hard it can be a conscious personal choice that you're worthy enough to give this love to yourself it is a conscious choice that you the adult is now strong enough to go back and uproot what was created by your karma and by what you accepted as a child who didn't have the intelligence you have today you can do this it is a choice to do it consistently the only reason you would fall off this path is because after this live stream you go back and fall into that wave of life that keeps kind of throwing you around but the wave of life that is throwing you around was created by this entirety of this karmic experience you must if you want to make a shift literally set your alarm maybe three times a day to go off and when it goes off yes I will look for all the negativity that comes from outside of me and my own negativity and I will do my best to bring it down to the root okay and when you you know do that just every day the alarm goes off okay stand up again face this one again what happens is you will not get beat up by life you a little bit of course you're gonna get beat up by life it's just you know because of you know how long we've been doing this right but it's the consciousness that changes the outcome you have to agree to consistently make it conscious to you otherwise you just forget this and you didn't really learn anything other than what had happened in this moment so that's my challenge to each of you to um, to love yourself enough to make an agreement to not allow yourself to should on yourself um, be loving to yourself okay there are two ways to accomplish this one is the way I've taught you which always needs to be done regardless and there's a much much faster way to uproot those roots those are the special services crown chakra blessings soul operations to open your heart center if you can be smart uh, uh, you can one blessing can uproot hundreds of roots one at a time happen to do it by yourself it just takes a lot longer to do it um, you can but receive a blessing or two things just get easier guys promise you let's do a practice together all right <clears throat> we sit up straight feet flat on the floor this practice is a duplicatable practice you learn how to do it you can do it every time it doesn't have to be as expansive as the one you're going to hear from me it just needs to be from your heart so if you follow the general outline of this you could receive significant benefits okay let us place our hands in soul light soul service hand position with the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand gently pointed upwards let us connect I will walk you through the steps please repeat after me dear my beloved creator dear God Tao source dear my heavens team guides angels and saints you call forth any other beings of light you connect to if it's Buddha call Buddha if it's Jesus call Jesus you believe them all call them all I love you I ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence to bless me 
to release these deeply rooted self-worth, self-love karmic blockages. I ask for your blessings in whatever way is most appropriate. Thank you. Dear my memories, the soul of my memories of any time in this life and all lifetimes where I have said and believed negative things about myself created a belief that I was not worthy of receiving love admiration appreciation positive comments financial flourishing a loving healthy relationship anytime I have convinced myself that I was not worthy these memories please come dear all souls in this and all time if I or my ancestors have communicated to you by wrong thoughts emotions by mentally abusing you and by emotionally abusing you by physically abusing you and by spiritually controlling you if I or my ancestors have communicated with you in such a way where the end result was a lack of self-love in any way shape or form mentioned or unmentioned if we have communicated with you in any way that has caused you to form a belief of separation from your beloved creator a belief of unworthiness or that you need to do something to be unconditionally loved by your creator from my heart I deeply humbly and sincerely sincerely apologize now when you do this for yourself just be quiet and listen when you do this for yourself you would be doing this for a specific item that you drill down on so you would say something like dear the soul of the person or people that I have been blaming or believed brought unpleasant thoughts emotional suffering to me mental suffering to me put me down taught me incorrectly Please forgive me. I have been blaming you this whole time and thinking that I was unworthy. I ask your forgiveness because I recognize I may have been this way towards you in previous times. And that you have entered my life to teach me how it felt to be on the receiving end of hurtful thoughts, emotions, hurtful manipulation of the mind, etc. I ask most sincerely for your forgiveness. From my heart, I deeply apologize if I and my ancestors in any lifetime have communicated with you that would have caused this form of suffering to you. I deeply, 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 humbly and sincerely apologize. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness for anything you have brought to me in this life that has caused me to have these beliefs. And I ask for your forgiveness for doing this in any other lifetimes to you. Dear my soul, Dear my little boy, my little girl, I love you. From all my heart, I give you my most pure love. Please forgive me for not being there for you 
when you had this experience. Please forgive me for not being there to teach you that this was an opportunity to ask for and offer forgiveness. I forgive you, my beautiful little child, for believing that you were not worthy, that you were not enough. I forgive you for saying these things to help yourself comprehend the pain you were experiencing. I forgive you for setting up a belief for protecting yourself. Now we can ask forgiveness of these souls. We can offer forgiveness to these souls and we can release this suffering forever. My beloved little child, from this moment forward, we no longer need to believe this. You have always been perfect. You have always been enough. This lesson only came to us so that we could clean it up and become the pure being that we know we are. Dear my child, from now on, whenever anybody communicates in this way to us, moving forward, please stand up and remind all of our growth that it is not true and we released it already. We are love, we are worthy. Dear God, Tao and Source, please bless this practice. Thank you. Dear all my downloads and treasures, please turn on. Please bless this practice. Thank you. Dear the soul of greatest forgiveness, the calligraphy of Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. Could you please offer your blessings to completely clear the spiritual debt that has been present so that I can be a pure, unconditional, loving soul? Thank you. Now we chant, focusing on all of the souls in your childhood that had brought you that unconditional that conditional uh, pain and suffering and releasing the blockages let us chant by sending them love da quan shu greatest forgiveness da quan shu Greatest forgiveness, Da Quan Shu. Greatest forgiveness, Da Quan Shu. Greatest forgiveness. I forgive you, please forgive me, bring love, peace, harmony, bring love, peace, harmony, I forgive you. Please forgive me, bring love, peace, harmony, bring love, peace, harmony, I forgive you, please forgive me. Bring love, peace, harmony, bring love, peace, harmony. Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. 
那宽恕 greatest forgiveness. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. I forgive you. Who please forgive me? Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So by heaven's guidance, I want to uh, make an opportunity available to you for whichever specific item you recognize as a major issue. Maybe it's a molestation. Maybe it, uh, somebody told you something about your, your, your looks, or whatever it is. There's two options if you wish to receive special blessings. I will offer a crown chakra blessing for as appropriate, removing the root blockage for that trauma, that condition that brought about that specific um, uh, soul, mind, body uh, blockage that has created that per that perspective of your self-esteem, including I will assist you to find that root. Okay, that's not a small thing. That takes time, guys. Uh, That is the one hundred dollar honor fee. That's a, that's a normal crown chakra blessing, but I will take the time, at least fifteen or twenty minutes, to find that root with you, and then you'll receive a crown chakra blessing for that. Also, uh, as a package, if you're interested, you can receive the so, the uh, Jin Don healing and transmission system for clearing the blockages. For uh, associated with low self-esteem and self-worth um, in your heart center um, your heart center carries all that and this would be a huge 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 uh, uh, blessing that would release a great deal of the negative mindsets attitudes and beliefs that you hold on to that's kind of like uprooting a hundred weeds or not necessarily completely dissolving them because they're still going to show up for you to be fully uprooted but it's going to water the soils dramatically loosen all of the weeds it's going to release a great deal of the negative mindsets attitudes and beliefs that cause you to uh to constantly have them come to you and when and if they do come to you you'll be able to much more easily see them and move into a, a pattern of just pulling up the weeds very easily okay uh, for those that have significant blockages now that by the way as is a normal honor fee of 300 uh, and the package together which is the personal uh, consultation the uh, crown chakra blessing and the um, the uh, healing and transmission system for removing that root at the message center which would normally be 400 we'll do it all together for 300 including the uh, the uh, personal conferencing and then if there's any interest on a side note you can do a group of personal conferencing including blessings uh, if you have a long-standing issue okay so contact me uh, Kristen has already posted my email and phone number in the chat boxes it's a soul healer at yahoo.com my phone number is 808-469-6199 for all those listening on podcast uh, I am grateful to serve you the wisdom that flowed out today I do believe will save many lives and help many people so please share if you can think of girlfriends guy friends or people you care about that 
probably have this blockage make sure you share to them directly okay and make sure you send them to me to to serve them for the special services so thank you divine Dao source thank you my teacher master Shah thank you all beings of light who came um, one more thing before I go thank you Kristen for mentally reminding me um, who do you know that has cancer who do you know that is worried about having cancer June 10 I am offering a four-hour um, workshop that goes into the deep root causes spiritually speaking of answer as well as the answers I can tell you that uh, um, when people are trying to clear this on their own using all the current modalities that are out there they are fighting an uphill battle because the root is karma I will be talking about that uh, at length in this four-hour class it's only $20 uh, you can find it on my website you can go to my website scroll down about three-quarters down on the home page click on it uh, 20 bucks very well worth it and then those that it's right for if they choose to receive divine services whatever they are doing will be enhanced quite a bit and they will have a far greater possibility of success with their traditional modalities of the physical world so if you know anybody that can benefit from that um, please uh, connect them with uh, my website have them contact me I will be very shortly creating a very short uh, video like three to five minutes that does a synopsis of what they can expect and I'll be posting that so everybody can share it okay so thank you thank you thank you love you love you love you all beings of light all the souls who have come respectfully return gong song gong song gong song bye bye everybody